wonder where this exotic botanical garden is situated kind of far far away but let's dig in and see where this leads in the year 1759 henry lord capel of tewkesbury formed a lavish garden at the london borough of richmond upon the thames england and named it the kew park later in 1840 the garden was adopted as a national botanical garden with a wide span of 75 acres under its first curator john smith directed by william hooker though the garden survived the world war 2 it lost hundreds of trees in the great storm of 1987 2003 lifted the face of kew gardens as it became one of the world heritage sites by unesco the kew gardens has diverse features that has people glued to it one would find numerous activities and attractions on this premise which will amaze you kew gardens is known for its world's largest and most diverse botanical and mycological collections it has its own police force the kew constabulary which is operational since 1847 The highlight activities that one can come across at the Kew Gardens are herbarium, library and archives, seed bank, forensic horticulture, economic botany, jardin laboratory and etc. Let's see a few of them. Herbarium is at the Hunter House, the largest herbarium in the world which has around 8.5 million specimens of plant and fungus, around 27,000 and more taxa. Library and archives under the Hunter House are on 7 lakh 50 thousand volumes and illustrations more than 1 lakh 75 thousand. It is supposed to be the world's largest botanical collections. Seed Bank The Millennium Seed Bank has over 96 thousand seed collections of nearly 40 thousand species which counts up to 2.4 billion seeds. Forensic Horticulture This center helps in the analysis of plants, fungal parts, plant environment and ecology, helping in the criminal investigations where plants are involved. Economic botany. This pivots on the usage of plants by humans, revolves around the plants and its relation with people and their food, clothing, medicine, utensils and social activities. It has various artifacts made from plant and plant materials. Over 90,000 draw materials and ethnographic artifacts are in the economic botany. Jodrell Laboratory. This is named after Mr. T. J. Phillips Jodrell. It's a research facility on plant physiology, a botanical research and biochemistry. The attractions that you would see at the Kew Gardens are the different houses, galleries, walkways, conservatories, palaces and museums let's take a closer look at these attractions the davies alpine house was set up on march 2006 it has maximum transmission of light and maximum temperature which doesn't exceed 20 degrees celsius it has around 200 plants at a time the q palace it is the smallest british royal palace constructed in 2006 This was used to celebrate the 80th birthday of Elizabeth the Queen. The Maria North Gallery was built in the 1880s which houses 832 paintings of Maria North. It is a permanent exhibition dedicated to the work of one woman in Great Britain. Museum which is also known as the Museum Number no. 1. It houses tools, ornaments, clothing, food and medicines. It has exhibits of plants and people. Pagoda. It is 163 feet high, which is the tallest reconstruction of Chinese building in Europe. Tree top walkway, constructed on 24th May 2008. It's a walkway constructed through tree tops, which is 18 meter high and 200 meter long. It is inspired by Fibonacci sequence. which is frequently found in nature's growth patterns rhizotron it's a clear walled chamber through which one can observe roots as they grow it has digital screens showing the life of trees shirley sherwood gallery constructed in 
as a botanic art gallery. It is world's first public gallery dedicated to classic and contemporary botanical art. Sackler Crossing, installed in 2006 upon the lake covering five acres of water, studded with four islands that provide vibrant colors enhanced by the reflection in the lake. Designed by the architect John Pawson, Prince of Wales Conservatory. This was opened on 28 July 1987 by Diana the Princess of Wales. It recreates 10 climatic zones and uses little energy as possible. Moving on, there are separate structures at the Kew Gardens which has plant collections. Some of them are the Arboretum, the Aquatic Garden, the Cactus House, the Rose Garden, the Rock Garden, the Carnivorous Plant Collection, Grass Garden, the Temperate Herbaceous Collection, Orchid Collection. The Arboretum houses the collection of 14,000 trees creating a unique living landscape shaped by the seasons. The Aquatic Garden has a collection of water lilies, lotuses and other aquatic and marginal plants. The Cactus House has over 30,000 different species from around the world. The Rose Garden is a home to 170 different species and cultivars of rose. It's a floral feast for the eye with bold paintings of mixed shrub roses. The Rock Garden is a living collection of alpine plants from six mountainous and rocky regions of the world from the European Alps to Winspit, Patagonia built in 1882 and one of the oldest and largest in the world. The Carnivorous Plant Collection has different carnivorous plants from across the world, various landscapes and climates having evolved in a weird and wonderful adaptations to trap and consume prey. The Grass Garden The lustrous beauty of the grass can be viewed in this ever-growing collection of around 550 species. The Temperate Herbaceous Collection A collection of temperate, hardy, non-woody plants with some subshrubs with 2,000 taxa. The Orchid Collection The collection of tropical, subtropical and temperate orchidaceae encompassing terrestrial, epiphytic and lithophytic species with 2,500 taxa. This brings to the end of the Kew Gardens and its attractions. The Kew Gardens is located on the Thames in London Borough of Richmond in England. It has a footfall of more than 1.35 million per year to experience its beauty and be with this stupendous work of nature. Are you interested? Are you intrigued to see the Kew Gardens? Take a virtual tour of Kew Gardens at www.q.org. How do we contribute? Let's see. Plant a seed today and nurture it. Let the change begin. Stay home, stay safe. Want to know more about these topics? Please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.